Hello, my name is Peter Parfit. Welcome to New Brit Workshop. I've just bought a brand new computer monitor, but it's quite big. It's a super bit of kit made by Samsung. I'll tell you about that another day. But when I placed it on my desk, I realized it was taking up just too much room. So I had this idea that I'd make a lifting mechanism uh, for the monitor and have it sitting just behind my desk and it would come up and down whenever I needed it. Well, after a long time of trying to design something and going nowhere, I then contacted Accuride here in the UK and they have very kindly sent me a sample of a product called the DB Lift 0019, which is a mechanical lifting mechanism for a TV or a computer monitor. You press the button at the top and it rises up under sort of spring tension and you push it back down by hand when you don't need it anymore and it clicks back into place out of sight. Now the DB Lift is a very simple but actually quite sophisticated device. And let me explain how it works. Basically, you have a central portion here which can move up and down. It's under spring tension. The monitor would be attached at whatever height suits you on this post which is here. Now the weight of the monitor uh, may counteract the spring action to an extent, but you would still need to press down to put the monitor away. And that would be now in its closed position in some sort of cabinet. Now I'm in the process of building a cabinet which will go at the back of the desk, and here it is. And this is simplicity in itself. It's just a rectangular box in which uh, the DB lift will go and the monitor. And there's nothing sophisticated about the woodwork in this whatsoever. When you wish to raise the monitor, you push gently down because there's a latching catch at the very bottom. Gently down and then the gadget will rise up. Now, if you haven't got anything attached, a monitor attached, you have to be very, very careful when operating this because the spring tension is such that it could come up and bash you one on the chin or whatever. So you do need to be careful. Now, according to the weight of your monitor, you might need to add some more weights to help counterbalance uh, the spring action so that when you eventually you're using it, you don't have to push down so very hard, but when you do wish it to come up, it will come up under its own steam. So that's something which you can look up in a table on the Accuride website. I'll put links to the various bits and pieces in the description of this video. And when it's in the up position, this top portion can rotate. So it means your monitor could be rotated uh, depending where you're sitting at your desk. But to return it back into its box, you would need to return it to the center position uh, to get it back down out of the way. Now, in order to fit this, my rectangular box has a fairly thick section at the back here. And this is an old piece of melamine coated MDF, uh, which you saw me cleaning up in a video a while ago. Anyway, that's screwed into the back here because I want to be able to extract this back piece at any time uh, to fit or refit uh, the lifting mechanism. Uh, the, the front part and the two sides are already glued together. I've yet to complete what I'm going to do at the top here, but my concept will be that when the monitor is in, a, in its little cabinet in the closed position, there'll be something across the top here to stop dust going down. Now, when you buy the DB lift, you'll get absolutely brilliant instructions, and you can look at these in advance on the Accuride website. Now, in my case, I've had to get a visa bracket for my uh, monitor, and there are two types. There's the fixed bracket, which literally just screws straight on to here, and the screws are supplied. Or there's a, a tilting one, which allows the monitor to be tilted to and fro. It's, it's a little bit bigger than this and takes up a little bit more room. But again, you can see the diagram of that uh, on the Accuride website. And in my case, I didn't want the extra uh, space and I didn't need to tilt my monitor uh, forwards and backwards. And so I've gone for the basic plate. And the idea would be that you fix this into your cabinet you fix this then onto the central post here, and then the very last thing, you fix the monitor onto uh, this and you're ready to go. 
Now, the woodwork to create the box, and as I said, this is not finished yet, um, is very, very simple. But I will provide the plans for this free of charge to anyone who wishes to get them. And remember, if you wish to get plans from me, I need your email address, which you have to send as a comment to this video. Now, you'd expect me to bling this up a bit. Well, either side of the box, I'm going to fix a little uh, cabinet like this, uh, which will hold uh, my various sockets and on-off switches that I need. One on one side, one on the other. And that is uh, because the space at the back of my desk, I might just as well make full use of it. And that then puts my sockets and things just out of sight, just a little bit below the top line of the desk. I've just removed the screws uh, which keep the top part of the cabinet attached to the back. And this piece would be nearest to the desk, and this is furthest away. And it's on this piece that I'm going to attach uh, the DB lift. Now, I've just opened the packet with the various bits and pieces in. There are two cable clips, a large one and a small one. Uh, there's a, a little bit of rubbery stuff which is used to go around uh, a hole, which I'll show you later. Uh, there are four set screws to put the visa plate onto your monitor and two uh, set screws to attach the visa plate to the DB lift. So that's there. Then there are eight little screws which are used to attach uh, the DB lift to your main backboard. And then there's a rubber stopper uh, which goes in the bottom here uh, where the cables will be coming out. More of this later. The next job I've got to do is to position the DB lift, uh, in my case, dead central to the backing board. I'm doing everything symmetrically. My monitor is symmetrical about its visa plate. This is symmetrical, so I've measured it very carefully. I've drilled uh, some little holes in the instructions that says these should be two millimeters in diameter, and I'm now gonna put the screws in. Now, these screws are probably more than adequate for the job in hand. And there are eight of them all together. The first six are very easy to put in because they're accessible directly. Now that's the first six screws done, but there are a pair of screws behind here. Now I've got to compress this to get this out of the way. And you should do this in a vertical position. And when it's in a vertical position, compress that down so it locks in place and then put the two screws, which are behind here, in place. And that's that done. Now at this stage, I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna finish off the top of my cabinet and the bit that goes above the monitor so that it keeps the dust out when it's not in use. So rather than putting all the cables in at this stage, I'm just gonna leave the DB lift fixed to this back plate as it is and I'm now going to reassemble my cabinet uh, so I can just work out exactly how I'm going to finish this top. Now the actual box is more or less finished now. You may just be able to see a hole here uh, which is 350 millimeters from the bottom and that's for my cables to go through. That uh, distance is specified by Accuride because then it gives you the least amount of movement for the cable as the system rises and falls. Now I do need to show you the rise and fall mechanism. You can see I've got these two pieces of wood. They're actually joined together and they're glued. And, and at the back here you can see the visa plate, uh, which is the optional extra which you get uh, with the system to suit your particular needs. Uh, this is the back of my monitor, and this, these are the four visa screw holes here. Those are at 75 millimeter centers. Uh, and you can see this round shape. And this piece of wood here, uh, which is 18 millimeters thick plywood, uh, fits into that back recess on the monitor. And these screws here are the ones which go through the visa plate. And these would go into the monitor eventually. But I've just put little nuts on them for now. I've, as I said, I've joined this piece of wood on. The purpose of that piece of wood is that now I can have my top positioned here. I'll just push that down gently. Now, my top now is actually snug around the very top of the mechanism. 
and it's actually sitting on that cross piece of wood. And at this stage, I've not committed it to being glued in place, but I have checked that it's just right. It's not an engineering fit, there's a little bit of a gap all around. And the reason for that is you need a little bit of a gap because there is a little bit of movement in the mechanism, which is quite normal. I've just tapered these two edges off very gently uh, so that as this goes down, as you're pushing it down, it would definitely fit within the two sides. So I'm, I'm pleased with that. I'm now going to commit that to being glued in place. I'm now going to put this in place. I'm pushing down to get it properly united. I'm happy it's in the right place. And I'm now going to just gently push down like this and let it rise, doing my very best not to disturb the position at all. And I'm going to put a pair of clamps on. Now, if you've not used these uni clamps before, I must tell you that they are absolutely super duper because for an application like this, they are reasonably lightweight, but they're very strong. That's that done. Check that, that's that done. So I'm now going to leave that as it is to dry. I'll just check that uh, things are at right angles. I'm sure they are. Difficult to check because the camp's in the way. Yeah, that's fine. I'm, I'm happy that that's uh, nice and square. So I'm going to leave that to dry and then I'm going to put a little, a couple of little bits of bracing under here on both ends. And I've turned it round now and I can then give you a very quick demonstration. There it is going down. That's it in the closed position and up it would come. Of course, it doesn't have the weight of the monitor at the moment, so I'm having to uh, react it so it doesn't come up too fast. Now, just before I put the uh, monitor on, I'm just going to describe the route the cables are taking. Uh, the, the power and also the HDMI cable are going to go through a hole here, uh, which I've drilled already. They're going to pass in to here, and then they're going to go up this column here and come out through this opening here. And at this stage, we need uh, three, three items. Uh, the suitable size of clip uh, that's going to hold the cables together, and I'm choosing the smaller of the two. Uh, the plug that goes in the bottom of the column after the cables have gone through. And this little bit of plastic, which is used to line this hole so that the cables don't rub on a sharp edge. And this may need to be trimmed to size. And this just pushes onto the metal tubing of the column. Well, I think that's on pretty well. Now I've got two cables, I've got HDMI and I've got power. And I'm going to start by feeding them in through the hole that I've drilled here. Then once they're through here, I'm going to now thread them up through uh, the column. But bearing in mind, I have to have this little plug at the bottom of the column. So this has to go on over the two cables and get this on the right way around. <laughs> just to save a bit of effort. So that's, that's there and it's just fallen down deliberately out of the way. And I'm now going to feed these cables up through. Now feeding a second cable up can be quite tricky. So here's a little nifto nito trick. Attach the second cable to the one you've already got up there with a little bit of masking tape and then pull it through. And there it is. There's my power cable now and HDMI successfully there. Now with my two cables there, I'm now going to find the little 
plug which goes at the bottom of the column and I'm going to feed that along and insert it in the bottom bottom of the column. I had to encourage it in a little bit with a screwdriver but uh, it's there now. Now the cable clip is going to go on the lower of the top four uh, little screws that hold the, the weights in place. Now in the instructions it shows that you can uh, remove the retaining nut for this bottom screw here, uh, put the clip in place and then re-attach it. I happen to have a nut of the right size so I'm going to actually leave everything as it is, thread that over there and then put my little nut in place and one can then tighten that up later on with a spanner. So I've got my cables, they're there, I'm just going to drop them down inside for now and I'm now going to offer up uh, my monitor and connect the cables. Now this is quite a delicate stage and you do need to take the greatest of care uh, not to drop your monitor. And once you've got it in place, do the screws up. And now let's just see. Now, if your TV or monitor is slightly on the light side and you're worried that when it comes up, it comes up a little bit too fast, you can add a little bit more weight to the weight section here. And those are available uh, as additional extras or in my case as it's such a small amount small difference probably only an ounce or two I shall experiment I'm going to experiment to see just how much weight I need well there we go uh, so all I'm going to do is go weigh these and I will then work out what size piece of MDF or something like that I could screw on underneath here, somewhere out of the way where it won't be seen, so that I correct uh, the weight. You could alternatively uh, get some additional weights and attach them at the bottom. And I've found the, the perfect weight, it's this uh, block of wood, and what I'll do is I'll cut it into two, have one piece here hidden out of the way and the other piece there, nobody will see it and that will be the perfect weight and I'll demonstrate that now lower that down, goes down very easily and then up it comes perfectly and I'm now just to make it neat and tidy putting some cable wrap around these two cables it helps keep them together and also helps to protect them well here I am, I'm all set up my desk is nice and clear my monitor is hidden at the back and all I have to do to get it into the action is to press the top there and it, up it comes. Turn it on. Hello, my name is Peter Parfit. Whoop. And away I go. We're back to where we started. Now this is absolutely super. I won't turn the monitor off, but you can see how easy it is. Pop it back down, out of place, no problem at all. When you want to use it, up it comes, and so on. Now I've just got to make a minor adjustment to those blocks of wood that I fixed at the back, just to reduce their weight slightly, so it rises up a little more quickly. And I'd like to just say thank you again to Accuride for providing this sample to me so that I could make this video. Many thanks for watching, take care, bye-bye. <laughs>